In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sailor Candy Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Sailor Candy fountain pen. The candy line was released, I believe, in 2011. And the reason I'm saying 2011 is because this pen, I do know, was released to celebrate their 100-year anniversary, and they were founded in 1911. So this is an entry-level pen. It's all plastic body. They came in a lot of colors, just a huge variety uh, with different patterns, and just sort of the, the bold colors I think are really the, the big feature of this pen. I love the this sort of mint green, and then we have white accents and blue as well, and we have this sort of star finial. Uh, just a, a really cool pen. When this was released, I believe it was 16 or $18, so definitely quite a bit more than a Platinum. Preppy, which I reviewed in my budget fountain pen comparison. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. And, but it is definitely cheaper than the Lummi Safari. I'll also put a link to that review. So kind of an in-between pen there. When it was out, you know, I did feel like it was a little bit on the expensive side, but it's an entry-level sailor, and this was the cheapest way, I believe, to get into a sailor fountain pen. And Sailor, you know, makes a really nice pen, so even though it seemed expensive, it was still worth it to me. Now, these pens were discontinued. Um, you can still find them on eBay, but the prices are a bit higher. Anyway, let's walk through the pen here. So we have sort of a pretty standard shape here. You know, I would call it a torpedo shape, but it's it is pretty flat. There is a slight taper on the cap and towards the end of the, the tail on the body. Uh, but it's relatively square or uniform, which I, I do like the look of. Now going to the the cap here, the finial, we have this star finial here in blue and white. Looks really cool, just fun. And then we have a white clip here, which again is very square. There's no taper here, but it does come out into a, a rounded end. And we have this blue sort of dot here which comes through to the, the bottom. It's fun. And then the, the cap ring is white and we have Sailor Japan. And then in terms of the the price here you can see this sticker. I haven't removed it but it was a, a thousand yen so it would have been ten dollars roughly around that when this was released. So at that price actually I, I do quite like this a lot. By the time it got stateside, yeah, I think we were in the $16 to $18 range, which was definitely pricey. Uh, we do have this printed on the cap here. This isn't part of the sticker, and it says trademark the Sailor fountain pen, and it's got you know a little sailor holding a, an anchor. It's cute. So it's a screw cap, not a snap cap, which I kind of tend to prefer on these cheaper pens. We have a white grip section, and then we have a Sailor F2 nib. Now these nibs, at least what we got in the United States, they only came in this like, I think they call it like a fine medium grade. It's really like a, a fine. We didn't get any other options, unfortunately, which is definitely a downside of this pen. You also did not get a converter, which is fine at this price. I think it came originally with two cartridges and one thing that was interesting is you were able to buy these with different color cartridges. I think kind of depending on the, the body of the pen. Proprietary Sailor cartridge and converter. So if you wanted to use other types of ink, uh, you'd probably want to buy a Sailor converter. Just basic, you know, plastic feed, steel nib. Posts nicely onto the back of the body here. These nibs, I think if you look at reviews for these, they were not always reliably good. Some people complain about them being scratchy or, you know, not writing well basically out of the, the box. Issues with flow, that kind of thing. This one did work great for me and it does, in my opinion, feel like a proper sailor nib, which is really, really good. But I know from reading other people's reviews and talking to other people that have had these, they weren't always perfect. So definitely something to be aware of when you buy, you're buying one of these, you know, this isn't the same quality as, you know, Sailor 1911 or Pro Gear, you know, some of their higher end pens, which 
have really, really excellent nibs. These are maybe a bit more hit and miss. Capped were about 134, 133. Uncapped, 121 millimeters. Posted, roughly 152, 153 millimeters. Now as a comparison to like a Pilot Metropolitan, you can see the grip section is actually thicker. This is a very comfortable pen. It definitely does have more of a plasticky, cheap feeling. Another pen here is the Pilot 78G. This is a, a another plastic entry-level pen. They feel pretty similar. Definitely not super uh, high-end feeling. They definitely feel like a well, a cheap plastic pen. So you can just see these are some standard entry-level pens here, but they are full-size pens. So at the narrowest point, right before it kind of flares out at the end, 9.1. So it's it really is a good size. And then at the top, 10 and a half. Yeah, very comfortable pen. I enjoying these. If I had known they were going to discontinue them, I would have bought a couple more colors. They do a clear translucent one that also comes with, you know, different colored accents. They're really fun pens. Okay, now let's do the weight. And this pen has a pretty full cartridge in it. It takes quite a while to run out when you have such a, a fine nib. This is 12.4 grams and then 7.37 grams. So really light, one of the lightest fountain pens, non-disposable fountain pens that we've tested on this channel. It really is a comfortable pen though. I do use this posted a lot of the time. It posts well, it's comfortable, it doesn't feel back heavy or anything like that. It's a really nice pen. I, I really enjoy these. We're gonna be doing the writing sample today on the Papermind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. These are really great with fountain pens and for Blake's broadcast viewer and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Okay, this is a Sailor Candy. And I believe they call this a medium fine. This is Sailor Oops, I think it's gentle, it's something, it's some kind of gentle blue. It's a really nice ink, but I think they discontinued it. Just do some fast writing. No, oh, we are seeing some skipping there. Yeah, not great at fast writing apparently. In normal use, I have no problems with this. It actually, it writes really, really nicely, but boy, we're seeing some skipping today. Huh. Now it's, in my experience, it's been a very reliable writer. It has a nice feel to it. It feels really like a sailor nib, which I really like. There is a little bit of feedback. Wait, but today it's not behaving as well as normal. In terms of flexibility, not really any. It's a nail, as you would expect. Very scratchy on the other side and a pretty small difference overall. Okay, that's the writing sample for the Sailor Candy. So what are my pros and cons for the Sailor Candy fountain pen? The biggest pro is definitely the variety of colors and patterns that these pens came in. They are just really fun. You know, when you compare it to like a Pilot Metropolitan, Pilot 78G, some of the other cheaper fountain pens, the amount of colors that you get just weren't really as good and quite as fun with this. I, I you know, I like the star on the finial. I like the colored um, sort of like ball or flattened ball kind of on the clip. It's just a very, very fun fountain pen. I also like that we get, you know, a, a real sailor nib and it writes like a sailor, which I, I really do like. They have kind of a unique way, uh, feel to them. And that's translated here, even in this very cheap pen. I like the two-tone colors where we sort of have this mint green and white accents. It just, it looks really nice. It's a very fun pen. Now, in terms of cons, uh, biggest con, of course, is that they 
have discontinued this line, uh, which is a shame because it is quite a fun pen and a nice entry point into this world of sailor fountain pens. So that's definitely the biggest con. In terms of the nibs, you only got one nib option, or at least when they were available when I was looking for them. You know, they have like what they call a medium fine nib, which is a very good general purpose nib. I do wish there was more variety. The other thing is the performance. If you look at some of the feedback that people gave on these pens, they're not always the best performers. Uh, people have trouble with them, you know, hard starting, I mean, which is kind of typical for a cheaper fountain pen. Uh, but I noticed it, I would say more so with this pen than say like the Platinum Preppy or any of the offerings from Pilot in that lower tier. So that is definitely a drawback. I got lucky uh, with this one. It writes really, really nice. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this fountain pen? Do you like this fountain pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper printing videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and until next time.